All right, hello everyone. Let's take a look at what the sky is talking about today. <clears throat> now, last week in my previous video, that is, um, on the website, right on this page here, as you can see, this is like a day ago. So we did say we'd be coming down. We'll be having some markets will make a top, some markets will make a bottom. And I did say the indices will be going down. So no surprises there. Um, this is the euro dollar. Euro dollar also went down, but euro dollar is going to came down to find support um, actually let's take a look at the euro dollar now so on the euro dollar let's see this is what the sky is looking like right now okay so let's take a look at this this is what it's looking like right now so tomorrow 23rd recalculate so this is what it's going to look like tomorrow okay so tomorrow we've got some actually decent um, situation to start finding bottoms so tomorrow might actually be a bottom uh, and here like I said from the bottom we'll probably see this Venus Neptune with the Jupiter sextile helping the euro dollar um, to find a turning point okay and that's going to be exact on the 23rd all right so tomorrow and the day after will probably be um, a spot to look out for bottoms here um, especially also with um, with indices as well uh, and Neptune Jupiter Neptune Venus um, might also be um, giving us an outlook for oil as well but the most important thing here is Mars Saturn 90 degrees it's going to go until the 30th of September and at the end of the month we're going to have a full moon and the full moon is going to be actually I think it was on the 1st or the 2nd of October <coughs> yes yeah, the 2nd of October we're going to have a full moon so this week and next week um, we should be seeking to be buying at bottoms for some market and selling at tops for other markets. So, for example, some currencies like the dollar Canadian, dollar franc, um, those will be probably be making tops and you'll be looking to short them. Um, the Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, USD, and the euro dollar, they'll probably be making bottoms to be bought. Um, and the indices, obviously, we're going to start looking for turning points. But um, tomorrow or today is the 22nd so today as you can see we've got this t square this t square will make a bottom this mercury saturn will fade away that fade away is going to happen tomorrow and as soon as that fades away we'll probably start seeing tomorrow afternoon um, in the u.s opening we'll probably see start seeing some um, buy orders coming in on the indices also look out for gold this mars saturn aspect is quite influential on gold saturn also is going to be conjunct with pluto um, so that's also an influence here and um, this aspect uh, when this aspect is going to finalize itself it's going to be 30th of september we'll probably see um, gold moving up as it then uh, without any restraints right so this is all going to look at just fine let's take a look at the heliocentric tomorrow on the heliocentric earth mercury that's going to be 90 degree aspect on the 24th so once again these are probably mark a bottom for us and jupiter saturn here conjunction um, although that's going to be um, exact on the 2nd of November this is already in the game so looking at this from this perspective tomorrow we can actually well this week actually when we see bottoms we'll be looking to take the market up towards the elections in a nutshell this is how it is last week I did mention we'd be going down to find some bottoms with this t-square um, and you know things haven't changed same same scenario all right and this is how we're looking at today 
So I <coughs> hope they're interesting for you. Um, if you want to learn astrology and technical analysis together, because one without the other won't really help you out here. You'll have to use both of them. If you want to learn both of them, um, we do have um, we do have a systematic course for both astrology and the technical analysis side of things. Here's the technical analysis. Okay. So this is rather nice. Euro dollar also coming down. Well, we'd like to see some bottoms as well with the euro dollar, and then we'd like to think about think about going long on this as well. Okay, so there you go. Have a great day. This is a short video, but you know I've already laid out the foundations from before to this week. So if you're following the videos, all should be fine.